Maximum and we're here to make you think about death and get sad and stuff. I hear the voices and the voices, the tremor of calm, the feminine of the sun, reaching my threshold, staring at the truth of life. After all this, Shepard, the only thing Shepard can say is like, I should go. <laughs> so fucking dumb. <laughs> ah. You told me the deepest secret of your heart. I should go. Uh, I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Took them long enough. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. Man, I just wanted to land in the Citadel and go check out the shop. Engage in the uh, cutscene that they pull back. Shit. Fuck. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. You think a blockade's going to stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus Systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. No, it's not, you fuck. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The Conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The Conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Oh my god. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. Oh my fuck. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until further notice you're grounded. Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. It's such a fucking cunt, man. And... <sighs> Fuck's sake. I get that. Commander. Shepard, I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. Can be pollution, can be so much of a fucking thing. It's like, yo, I did everything for this, and then just like, eh, whatever, man. It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything, everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. I don't care if they ground me, but they refuse to go after Saren. 
If they don't stop him from finding the conduit, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal, and get them to reverse their decision. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? We're out of the game for now, but I'll find a way back in. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Thanks, Lara. You're the real MVP. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Are you spying on us, Joker? No, sir. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. You should probably go meet with him. Oh. I wanted to have sex, though. But you know. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. atmosphere. Logged. Come the commanding the officer is, is ashore. Is offshore. Exo, Exo Presley, Presley has the death. Exopressy always has a deck when I'm leaving. Oh, okay. After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. Hmm. Just wanna go to the, uh, the lions. I don't really wanna talk to her, but I will. No, that's not the way I need to go. Wards? No. So I get to the uh, L, um, yeah, exactly where I need to go. Good. Hello, Commander. Show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. That's all I wanted. One point two million. <laughs> it's not too good. Um, sleep a rifle. And okay, I need to put up shotgun next time. Kalisa been seen in Algelani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? What sort of questions? People back home have heard a lot of wild stories about you, Commander. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. What do you say? 
so long as you understand that I may not be able to answer all questions. I'm sure our viewers will understand. <laughs> Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human Spectre? We all know it should have happened years ago. I hope the Council realizes that we won't sit at the kids' table forever. Some believe that without firm action on our part, the Council will continue to treat us like poor relations. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? I think they know not to ask me to work against my own people. I think our viewers will be glad to hear that, Commander. You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? The Normandy is a triumph of human engineering. Like our development of fighter carriers, it shows other races that we're able to think outside the box. That's gratifying. Many huh. defeatist officers claim that the Alliance can't compete with the naval power of, say, the Turians. Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? Miss Algelani, I wear the Alliance uniform. And if you think anyone other than me says where the Normandy can go, you're sadly mistaken. No offense intended, Commander. I'm sure you have to follow the orders of your superiors. Of course, now your superiors are aliens. Whoa. Speaking of your new job, did the Council order you to sabotage human research concern on Novaria? I made that call to save myself, my crew, and the inhabitants of Novaria. And I'd do it again. It's gratifying to see someone who'll make tough choices to protect the lives of humans. Given your recent experiences, do you think humanity will ever get the respect it deserves from the galactic community? Ever read Machiavelli? He believed it's better to be feared than loved. We built a few dozen more dreadnoughts I guarantee will be respected. I hope they remember that when they pass the next defense budget. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Hmm. For a long time, the Council sat on their hands with regard to Saren. I have to wonder where their thumbs were. Strong words. It's a good time for strong words. Good luck in your mission. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. I do my best here. Um. Not know what I need to do. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. I need to go back on the docks. I'm honestly a bit confused. In breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. Forget skip. I need to go to my <laughs> In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present oh. another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword, Courage.
Right. Sorry, Commander. The Normandy's locked down. Ambassador Udina gave the order. Sorry, Commander. The Normandy's locked down. Ah, you fuck. I need to go. <sighs> the flux. Kind of sucks because I need to do the. Uh... Francis Kit has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kit claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. Oh, I wanted to go the uh, do the uh, VI moon uh, problem, but now I'm stuck fucking doing this kind of shit. A research station on Novaria has reportedly been destroyed. The exact cause is currently unknown. Given the research conducted on Novaria, many are blaming the destruction on an experiment gone awry. Administrator Analeas has released few details, except to say that investigations and repairs are ongoing. Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. Cram your honor. What's this riot about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? I'm a patriot, Mr. Saraceno. You've got my vote. It is gratifying to hear that. We can't allow anything like Shan Shi to happen again. Since I have your vote, could I convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy? The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. We need more politicians with the courage to stand up for human rights. Excellent. I'll have my people contact you. Don't worry. We'll take care of everything. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. Sure. What the fuck is Captain Anderson? He's supposed to be somewhere in the flux. Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. It's Commander, actually. What do you want? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I don't remember seeing you hip-deep in Geth back on Eden Prime. <laughs> I'm not on the front lines. 
but I'm making sure our jobs don't get outsourced to the aliens. I need every edge I can get. Specifically, I need a certain mental stimulant. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. Getting you your drug fix isn't high on my list of priorities, Keeler. What century are you living in? Do you think those Solarians hesitate before amping themselves up? If you won't help me keep humanity strong, I'll find somebody else who will. You should be careful who you say that around. What? Everyone knows Fist isn't with the local criminals. 